Thanks or no? Thanks a bitch, dollar bitch, dollar bitch, dollar bitch. Tell your mother, fucking mama, never show me love, but don't show me shit. Real niggas with late bitch niggas can never understand. <laughs> Listen, my name is Hero Bitch, the one and only, and I love me some meat. Love yourself, goddammit. Welcome to the smoking section where we know gas. I'm blowing on gelato. Got a cool little video, as y'all can see in the little caption. I'm pregnant with my ex-husband's baby while I'm still married to my current husband. Listen, I don't like to judge a book by its cover, but off that first glance bit, you probably a hoe. But we gonna see if you got some type of justification for what the fuck you been doing and why you been motherfucking screwing on the law. Let's go ahead and dive right to this motherfucking video. Get your blood, your balls, your joints, your edibles, motherfucking ready. You already know the motherfucking deal in the deliver, yeah. So I'm about to tell you guys a really big secret. I am pregnant with my ex-husband's baby while mm. I'm in the middle of a divorce from my current husband. Okay, so that ain't too bad. The story is so ratchet, you're probably gonna think it's crazy. But hi, I'm Abby. Most of you probably know me as House of Keto on TikTok. Um, but I'm here to tell you guys, I've been living two lives. One on another social media platform and one here. And the one I've been living here, I've tried to make like perfectly curated and only recipes, but I just can't do that anymore because that's not who I am. And I feel like you guys don't really know me. Like you're like, yeah, I'll give this girl a follow because she makes lunch boxes and I agree or I don't agree with how she feeds her kids healthy foods or whatever, but I don't know. Over on the other apps, people like know my whole ratchet story. Like the Jerry Springer, well, not the Jerry Springer version. It's more like the Sally Jesse Raphael or like the Ricky Lake version. But Ooh. I'm here today to tell you guys I can't keep living two lives, okay? I just want you guys to know who I am, know what I'm about, and you'll either love me or hate me. So if you decide to unfollow me because you're like, girl, I'm only here for your recipes and because you know how to season. Well, yes, thank you. I do know how to season. Um, but you're going to get a whole lot more than that. Um, and one or two things, you're either going to hate me, like literally hate me, but still not be able to look away. Or you're going to love me and you're going to want to be best friends. And I'm going to want to be best friends with you too because I don't have any friends. Um, well, I mean, I do have friends, but like, I like to stay home. You know what I'm saying? To the store. Okay, so anyway, um... Yeah, what else about me? So, yeah, when I was seven years old, I met the love of my life. Um, we literally fell in love. I was seven, he was 10. We got married when I was 19 and he was 21. Um, we have our daughter together, Penelope, she's 12. But here's what I did. I cheated on him with my boss. Yeah, I know, I'm like a shit person. Um, I got caught and I was pretty belligerent. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna apologize. Um, like, I was like, I don't think you're treating me the best. And you used to break my heart all the time when we were kids. And wow. I deserve this, blah, blah, blah. Cut to 10 years later, living a miserable life because I ended up marrying our boss, the man that I cheated on him with. We had a child together, and we are literally in the middle of a divorce right now. Um, what the fuck? I'm pregnant with my first. Ah, uh, you lying motherfucker. Listen, the bitch talked so goddamn long, she didn't even get to the good part of the story. I gotta find that motherfucking part two for us. I'm gonna be real. I need to know what the fuck happened. But all that shit sound crazy as hell. I mean, you still a hoe a little bit. Just a little bit. I gotta hear the rest of the story. Yeah, nah, I don't need to hear the rest of the story. You definitely got some hoe tendencies inside you. You was a little bit out of pocket multiple times, and then you sat here and said that you weren't gonna hold yourself accountable. You said, told the nigga, you used to break my heart all the time when we was kids? Come on, man. Then you end up running back to the knee. My name is Hero, the motherfucking one and only Elizabeth. I'm from the South Side. If you ain't from my side, listen, bitch, throw up your side, like, and subscribe. And motherfuckers hate because I blow a big blush while I'm making a video. Oh, well, keep it hey, big dog.